video, you will have a full understanding of if you want to go out, purchase a PlayStation 5, buy my game, and earn that amazing platinum trophy. This is strictly for us broke boys. Some people simply can't afford to do what others do. 99.9% .9 of people can't buy this game and they won't ever get a chance to enjoy it. I simply want you to enjoy this platinum trophy through Spider-Man's eye. There's a lot to go over and trust me, you don't want to miss. All right, just for a heads up, this platinum trophy video is going to be extremely different. Instead of your average run of the mill video explaining how I earned every trophy, I'm going to give you a full insight on how to earn this platinum in record time and correctly enjoy every second of the game as if it's a movie. P.S. There's a few missions that must be done last so you will completely destroy the storyline for yourself. I accidentally did this not realizing the most important secret of the game would show its beautiful oh, head. game, bro. Carnage. <gasps> I, I knew, I knew, I knew. I'm looking like, wait, why is he so weird? But first, here's a downright devious recap that sold me on this being game of the year in the first few seconds. I hope you enjoy. I'm working on a college application and it says I gotta tell them about myself. More like sell yourself. That's the worst. You got any advice? Well, take me. Hi, I'm Peter Parker. I'm 25 years old. I have a bachelor's degree in biophysics and I'm in love with the greatest woman ever. <laughs> Humble brag. Who is the best journalist in this city? Word. Go, MJ. I try to live up to the example set by the other greatest woman ever, my Aunt May. <laughs> Aunt Humble May, brag what again. I do, baby? Damn. And a while back, I was bitten by a radioactive spider and got superpowers. I, I can't put that in my essay. Hey, I'm laying the track as I drive the train. <clears throat> I've used my powers to help the city and stop a lot of people who wanted to hurt it. Like my mentor, Dr. Otto Octavius. His lab got shut down by an old colleague, Norman Osborne. Otto retaliated by releasing a bioweapon. I remember and this. I managed to stop Otto, but not without I great I literally cost. just played this game, so I that remember everything. That was pretty good. But I'm no Peter Parker. Exactly. I haven't Miles played Miles Morales, Morales yet, so I can't wait. 17 years <laughs> old and a student at Brooklyn Visions Academy. What else? I guess I <clears throat> help out with my mom's work in Harlem every now and then. She's Councilwoman Rio Morales. And there is a girl I like who bae. is spectacular bae. and inspiring. Hey, babe. And I think is one of the best artists in the city. And I also got bitten by a radioactive spider that gave me superpowers. <laughs> I learned how to be a Spider-Man from the OG. But I learned how to be a hero from my dad. Big Papa, what to do? He was killed by Martin Lee in the City Hall bombing. Martin Lee cool as hell, I ain't gonna lie. The good I try to do every day is the good my dad planted in me. But it's been hard. Even with superpowers, sometimes we can't save the people we love. No matter how hard we try. Man, Miles Morales you know, is so good. I can't wait to play though. it. And I don't plan to. I don't know, man. I can't talk about me without talking about Spider-Man. Sure you can. You just have to... Uh... Yeah, why don't you just start another draft? <laughs> game of the year, bro. If that didn't sell you on this being game of the year, I don't know what it is, bro. Game Open game boss fight is Sandman, where I notice our two first noteworthy add-ons to this game. Number one being the new solo and co-op combat system. We have sorry. He's not the only one. Okay. 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 We. Sorry. He can do that. We. Oh, don't hit me with that. Did with you that big look. Mr. Parker, I'm sorry. Who's this? Fight. Fight. Now, baby. Damn. 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 Where are you? Damn. Bro, hit me again. Mr. Parker, I just forgot. Back the fuck up. Oh, it is Over game there. fire. I would say this game is much harder than previous games. Way more enemies to fight at once, and with three to four missed inputs, you will die in this game. If I had to give this difficulty a comparison, I would say it reminds me of No Mercy from God of War Ragnarok. But honestly, to make fights much simpler, always target the enemies your teammate is fighting to get an almost instant kill. There's only one way to find out. That's all fighting together. Lit. Yeah. All right, let's clean up Sandman really quick using Miles Morales, and let me show you how cinematic this game can really be. This is the best, bro. What's good, my guy? What's good, 
good then, yeah. Bro, Miles Morales is just a dope. Look at his drill, bro. Hey, I'm working on it. Whee! Run up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. The vibe. I lost you there. Can't get rid of me that easy. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. They actually introduced a big bang Kamehameha that you can't actually use throughout the game. It's amazing. I don't know why they didn't add it. I really wish they did. They did that. Then we hit the water. <laughs> then we hit the water, something smooth. Damn, look at that, look at that. Look at that right there. Everywhere. After that amazing boss fight, we're blindly introduced to a new character, Craven. This guy's tough as nails and he does not back down to anyone. I love this character. A fate you will not share. You thought you had me, little boy? Give me that. Damn. I've been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. Pathetic. Pathetic. Damn, bro, that's strong. To one hand, somebody. Get your weak ass out of here. First trophy, boy. First trophy, you're gonna need help. Complete surface tension, baby. Let's Next noteworthy update of this game has to be how many innovative ways there was to travel from point A to point B in mere seconds. The classic web swinging, my favorite, and newly added web flying, the elastic slingshot, and the absolute fastest with the most flawless transitions I've ever seen, fast traveling. This is going to cut down your playtime tremendously. I recommend you spend the first hour of the game completing all pictures to unlock all fast travel points. Trust me, this is 100% worth New York? New York. We're currently in present time. Somehow leftover Sandman clones have kidnapped J. Jonah Jameson and threw him in the backseat of a car. Miles decides to save him and deliver him to the hospital, and this is thanks we get for doing such. Oh, they me. I Ain't nobody me. I, I, oh. uh, menaces. I'm surrounded by menaces. Beat him in the head, knock him out. But J. Jonah Jameson is not going anywhere, you hear me? I'm not going anywhere! Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? Now it was time for a quick wardrobe change. There's actually 62 suits in this game, with several of them having three different colorways to expand the lifespan of this game for at least two to three years, or until they decide to release Batman Arkham Knight 2. Here's my favorite suit overall. I got this suit. Oh no, we went in that one. Stylish. Got a trophy. Didn't even know a trophy was coming, but I got it, baby. Insomniac Games switches the timeline up completely. Normally, from what I remember, Venom always starts off as Eddie Brock in the older cartoons. We call ourselves Venom. But they had the great idea to make Harry Osborn Venom, which threw me for a loop completely. Crazy enough, Venom matches his personality much more than you would ever think. Um And here's the first look at the Venom suit wanting to attach to Peter. Of course, Venom wants to heal the world, but you'll hear about that a little later. You know what this means, right? We both have superpowers. Just think about all the stuff we could do to heal the world. The oh, fuck? Sorry. I, uh... Guess I still gotta figure out how this thing works. That same night, Miles and Genki decide to go to a Mysterion show, which turns out to be a trap. We all seen that coming. Hello. I'm Quentin Beck, master illusionist, and this is Betsy, my business partner, and Cole, my technical advisor. And this... 
is the next generation of entertainment. Mysteriously, Mysterion's high-tech, over-the-top machine breaks down. Now Miles has to fight his way out of the machine. These are the new screwball side missions from previous games, but done up 10 times better in my true opinion. None of them feel empty and none of them feel spammy. These can be done all at once or after the game is complete. Either way, you will not ruin your storyline. Behind the mask, complete the grand finale. This is where things start to get juicy. Local firefighters are trapped in a burning building. It's too risky for Peter to enter the building, so he sends in a spider bot to save everyone. As we're saving the last person, we notice there's more people in the back of the building. It ends up being the cult ran by the future carnage. I didn't say anything to the police. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. As we're taking these guys out, a new superhero steps in and helps us save the day. I burned eternal. Damn. Who the hell is this? Thanks. These Yuri missions must be done last or you will destroy your storyline. Now let's test out Harry's newfound powers. This should be fun as hell. But the only issue is, is that Spider-Man and Venom are complete opposites. Spider-Man likes to sneak around without being seen. Venom likes to be loud and proud and crush everything in his way. Oh my god. He is not playing with this dude. After Harry notices that the symbiote suit is heavily immune to fire and jumps in Tombstone jail cell to save him without creating any type of a plan. This is where we start to see Venom slowly taking over Harry's mind with his react first and think about it later mindset. And we get a first look at Venom's recreation powers. I'm very surprised they didn't notice something was really weird about this suit at this very moment. What are you, hold on. Sorry. Figuring out how this thing works. Let me explain Craven really quick. His entire goal is to hunt down the best opponents in the world. See, he's been hunting for years and years, but now he's getting too old to keep hunting. See, where he's from is not worthy to die of old age. So he has set out his life mission to find a worthy opponent that can take him down in the glory of battle. This means at all costs, he'll create or destroy any monsters that he deems a formidable opponent. So yeah, as you can see, he broke it off into Peter's rib. Okay, okay, don't act like you never had someone break it off in your ribs before. That's what happens when you're messing with a 350 pound big black dude. The near death experience of Peter makes Harry go berserk and he starts to go full rage mode on Kraven. This might be my favorite live action cutscene of this game. I had a lot of men in my ribs, yeah. You hear me crying. Yeah, he kicking old boy ass. And this is where Peter Parker first gets a taste of the Venom suit. What happened? 
fire the black suit. <laughs> now that Peter has the Venom suit, he doesn't realize that slowly Venom is corrupting his mind and making him feel as if he must have a rematch against Kraven, especially for breaking it off in his ribs previously. <laughs> He also finds out Venom's true weakness. Okay, weirdly enough, you can play with Miles' death girlfriend in this game. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. If you laugh at this point at any moment, you're probably going to hell. Is it wrong for me to laugh right now? Honestly, this was probably the worst feeling mission in the game, but I can understand why they did it, I guess. I mean, someone has to show our black women their voices can be heard, even Ooh. if they're deaf. No watch, Brooklyn no watch, no watch, no watch, good time, yeah. yeah. Okay, no the watch, game is about no to kick balance. into overdrive, and everything you do from here will lead you into a boss battle, which I might add are way harder than I thought they would be. But I will explain what I was doing wrong in the next boss battle so you won't have the same issue. First up, we save future Carnage from your in game ending him. As I prophesied! No! Mm. No! I knew you had it in your Yuri. <laughs> 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 Who killed this man? There. That'll keep pressure on him until I can play. You're gonna have to go through me. You think nothing with me. I am Ben Am. Ben Am. You're going to have to kill him, Jerry. My prophecy says he'll never stop. Just I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying this fight looks extremely easy to him. Well, guess what? You're wrong. I died to her multiple different times. Now that I think about it, it's extremely sad. I'm using a overpowered Venom and can't beat someone with a ball and chain. Damn it. You're acting like he's Oh my Blame God. Keep doing that bullshit. I'll finish you. Try to see. Not he, oh my god, he just been hurting me no matter what. I'm just getting thrashed! I'm gonna get a mother and cheat. And don't think you're out there clear just because you won the first fight. Every boss from here on out has three lives and you must defeat them all. It's extremely annoying. Open your eyes! Open your eyes! All right, let's move on to Killer Croc. I want to show you how dumb I am on the controls. I have to hurt you. I will. My tail is taking evolution way too far. After all the times I've helped you, I figured you could return the favor for once. God damn, blocking that book. Ooh, I got lucky man. Of course. Of course. Time for your medicine. Oh, got a trophy, baby. Con number two of this game is that we only get to fight as Venom for 15 to 20 minutes throughout the entire game, and we don't get to use this character model again. But I will say I had a blast with his skill set. This character is overpowered as hell. As a matter of fact, now that we're speaking on it, they should have just made his suit pickable in the Peter section. Leave us alone. 
Before we go over the last boss fight, there's a lot of cleanup that still needs to be done. So let's go over the trophies that you get for simply just playing the game, and then we'll go over the miscellaneous trophies. All of these are super simple in my true opinion, and I do love the fact that there's no missable trophies, making this platinum a very amazing experience. You know who I am? I'm the kid whose dad you killed at City Hall. And Mav use reverse clubs to pull six or more enemies to give us anything. What is this? What the hell? Beat 100 enemies with evolved ability. This game has collectible trophies that are actually pretty fun, such as finding all the remaining Sandman crystals. You basically find them out in the wild. They will always be protected by his clones. Once you defeat all of the enemies, you can hear the memories he has about his daughter. Once all 12 of these are done, then you gain a free trophy. The next collectible I decided to do was the Spyrobot. These are probably the most annoying collectible out of them all since they don't actually show up on your mini map. You simply just have to get lucky and roll upon one. These actually end up taking me much longer than anything else in the entire game. But I mean, at least they're cute. Look at this, a spider hero. We're all saved. Um, hi. Who are you? Me? I'm just a bartender who does favors for people every now and then. Excuse me, man. Do you have any spare coochie? Please, do you have any spare coochie? And I've learned that rogue spider bots are dangerous and bad for business. Let me take those off your hands. Whoa. Thank you, Spider-Man. We can always count on you to do the right thing. <laughs> Okay, here's something I should have spoke of early in the video, but honestly, the trophy didn't pop for me until I was 90% done with the game. Granted, I was playing crazy as fuck with Venom Peter. He's overpowered as hell. I don't know how many times I gotta say that. The newly updated stealth with the web lines are absolutely god tier, making any and every encounter a straight up cakewalk. It's simply just fun to see how many lines you can attach together without being seen. It's almost policing! Something that I found to be much harder than they should have been are the symbiote bases. They're pretty large, you can't miss them, and there's a pretty specific trophy for cleaning up all of them. Thank God I had anti-venom Peter, cause Miles Morales was not helping me in these situations. And here are a bunch of trophies that I think are pretty cool, but I'll let you decide on that once you get your copy of the game. And lastly, we can get to the most important stuff. First, second, third, and home. And Parker does it all with the home run bunt. Never in all my years have I seen one man accomplish so much by doing so little. Okay, now for the good stuff. Previously, I said these words exactly. Flashback. P.S. There's a few missions that must be done last, or you'll completely destroy the storyline for yourself. I accidentally did this not realizing the most important secret of the game would show its beautiful oh, head. game, bro. Carnage. <gasps> All right, pay attention. You're probably wondering how could this even happen? Well, everything that I do is based around going for the platinum trophy and being as efficient as possible. Now, obviously there are several other games I need to be working on. So I had the dumb idea to play 90% of the game out. Once I reached the last few missions or so, I would simply just complete all side objectives first. Now, hopefully I haven't lost you already. Once complete, I could come back and defeat Venom and the platinum trophy would pop, making the video seem extremely satisfying for the viewer. But as you can see, I fucked everything up and now Future Carnage is holding a Venom container even though Venom hasn't been defeated yet. To fix this entire issue, my recommendation is to not become a fucking YouTuber. Let's go! They do, oh my god, please do not make this a DLC. Carnage deserves his own game, bro. Carnage. <gasps>
I, I knew it. I knew I knew. I'm looking like, wait, why is he so weird? The whole game, all you talking about is blood, 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 blood. And Venom is a suit, but Carnage is a thing. And I seen the movie and Venom is scared of Carnage because Carnage is so much more stronger because he's one and not two. You wear Venom, you are Carnage. Now let's finally fight Venom and get this platinum trophy. This is where we became best friends. Hmm. Yeah, it is. And now it's where we become brothers. Take me forever to beat this nigga. <laughs> Bro, goddamn. Nigga took a bite of my ass. So after getting chewed on another 47 times, this finally happened. To the hill. What you do to me? I'm never gonna heal the world with you. Not like heal? This. Why do you keep saying heal? You mean destroy? The meteorite. You took it from us. Finally, 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 we can get that platinum trophy and say this game is finished. Such an amazing game. Such an amazing game. Six hours and 12 minutes and counting. This platinum, bro, is a 10 out of 10, bro. If you don't have a PlayStation 5, bro, save your money and get one and get this game. Bro. Simply just the suits sold the game for me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm tired as hell, bro. I've been playing about 19 hours and then I took a nap and I basically played another five or six hours. I love the Spider-Man games almost as much as I love God of War. If you thinking about buying a PlayStation 5 just for this game, I recommend do it. Hell, buy the Spider-Man PlayStation 5 if you can get your hands on it. No, they want to taste. I know they want my dog for all a nigga. Are you there? I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside the ghost and hop up in the fan, on. 